And what's going on, agents? And that's right, we're back with Stanley Parable, and we're gonna do this time. We're gonna do everything complete opposite. Okay, we're not gonna do anything he says. We're gonna just completely, completely, completely disobey him. So hopefully, everything goes well. Nothing but happiness for us. So let's just go in right. So begin the game. And bro, let's skip the beginning because we know how the beginning goes. But hopefully, you know everything goes well. All right, so and yeah, click skip. And we're in the game. Perfect. Okay. So we're gonna do the complete opposite of everything that's right. Yep. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. And miss a memo. Okay. Well it's just I mean I think No matter it. how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Turn this computer off. I know that's one of the things that I guess is the something I did. Remember that the computers do something after I finished the video, looked it up. And the studio just didn't do anything. Let's continue on it. Uh, turn that computer off. What else is in here that we can do? Can we open this door? No, how about for Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> I mean, not wrong. I don't know if we can go in there. There are any other rooms in the guy. I can't English. <laughs> the heck's over my nose. I'm too careful, guys. I uh, had two bloody noses yesterday, so just trying not to let that happen again. Alright, so 416, nope. No. Wait, what the? I thought the door was up there. Hmm, interesting. Right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. On my left, so we're gonna go on the right, guys. See. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> Alright, so nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing. Ooh, but there's a computer in there. How do I turn that one off? Let me in there. Let me in there. I want to turn it off. No. Okay, find you. Fuck you. Don't want you. Ooh, look. Dude, we have a pair. Nope. Okay, this one. This one? I just want to go in every room. Let me go in every room, guys. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. <laughs> Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yeah, I'm gonna get a drink, guys. Can I get a Coke? Sorry, can I get a cold drink of the bread flavor? Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Can I have some coffee? Yeah, I can. I don't know where we're going, guys. But right. eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yeah, okay, you do that. Well, I'm gonna keep trying to open every door here because I don't give a fuck what you say, man. Alright, Joe. I'm sorry, I'm not taking that door. And we're gonna go through here. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> it's not my fault, okay? Jesus Christ, Joe. So don't, do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. I'm not lying. What are you talking about? I'm not lying. You have no proof. I totally did not listen to Joe at all. What are you talking about? I listen to him all the time. How about this stuff? Oh, there's a key card reader. Is there a key card? Is there a key card in the room? Damn it, I'm locked out. Wait then. I guess I'm not going in that room. What's this? Do not jump from cargo lift while it's in motion. It will cause death. Okay, but wait what? Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. One thousand dollars. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Uh Penalty of from for jumping out the cargo lift, five thousand dollars. Oh god. Um. Okay. I guess that's the only way we have to go, right? It looks like it. Okay, let's go. Look, Stanley. I think yeah, perhaps we've gotten off. off on the wrong foot here. I really kind of do. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. 
I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Who's this bitch who's apparently waiting for me? I don't give a fuck about her. I look like, I look like a single man with a dead-end job. What makes you think I'm married? I'm just saying. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's go meet this lady, guys. I don't fuck this lady. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Did you just unplug the phone? No. Now, that wasn't no, supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? Uh -huh. You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. What? I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're yeah. a real person. Yeah. How'd you know? <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. What are you talking about? I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video choice it's the best part of being a real person but if used incorrectly can also be the most dangerous for example in this scenario a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice he could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, <laughs> the, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. A what? Practice. Is it still the game? Excellent. Making choices on a regular what basis the is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? Probably, yeah. And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. <laughs> At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay, we'll see about that. Ah, what the fuck? Welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This the way, please. This? What the fuck is happening? Okay. I don't know where all those parklets came from. Forklifts? Forklifts? Did I say? Okay, so what's the choice we're meeting here? Oh, look at this. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. 
Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you times. home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Okay, so what place is? Guess we're gone. Can I? It's a key card. There has to be a key card somewhere. I want to go in there, but I don't know where there's a key card. Do you guys know what this key card? I don't. Mm -mm. All right. So, key card. Key card. Fuck. All right. I guess we we'll have to go to go this way. All right. We're on. Yeah, we gotta click through the door. Cause that's the thing, right? We gotta click through the door. I don't even know that's such an achievement. I'm just clicking it really to see if it'll open. Get out of here, you know. In there? Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Oh, really? We'll see about that. We'll see about that, guys. We'll see. Watch, we're going to go the opposite way. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. Uh -huh. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Yeah. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nah. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. What's happening? <laughs> what the fuck? Am I legitimately breaking the game? I think I am legitimately breaking the game. All right, let's go back. All right. Oh, the lights. What the fuck's going on? All right, let's try again. Are you serious? Okay. I guess we're gonna have to go this way. Well, the lights. It's fucking freaking me out now. All right. Guess we went to the door on the left. There's nothing we could do there. I'm trying to purposely avoid everything he's doing. But... Hey, what the fuck? Did I go backwards? <laughs> I think I went backwards. I think I confused myself and went the wrong way. I'm legitimately opening every door. Uh, oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do oh, I do? Everybody's hilarious. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. No, don't do that. I have to. No! Don't do it! Is the game over? Still here, here in this pile of rubbish, with you, you, who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. You what, did down. you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He yeah. actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh. You asshole. My story. If you'd just gone through Ain't the door on the child. left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and so... been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. ...behave exactly as Stanley would. 
That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What the fuck just happened? Did he just reset? Well, fuck it. I guess we're going on the right now. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Wait. Is behave exactly as Are you serious? Would. That means choosing responsibly and always <laughs> putting the story to first. The right part. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> oh my God. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, we're gonna go to the right one more time just to see what happens. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to go left. Just behave exactly as Stanley okay, would. We'll go left, that we'll means just, choosing we'll responsibly again and always putting the story we'll first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Am just really follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley mm -hmm. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, we're going to the door on our left. Now what? We click everything just in case. It's so boring. Same thing. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. I know I can open this door. Why can't I open it now? What the heck? Up. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I guess we'll do that. Are you serious? There's nothing else. I didn't say, "Hey Siri, you stupid thing." Fucking Gary. I don't know why the heck that happened. Ooh. What's going here? Oh no, it's just a door we came in. What's this? No, nothing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No. I'm going here. No. Are you serious? What? In the world, hey. his room wasn't like that, right? The when we went first time, no, right? It wasn't elevated. No, right? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath, and then spoke the code. Wait a minute. What the fuck is up with that picture? No! Don't shoot the panda! What's wrong with you? <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. No. Night Shark no. 115. Wait a he spoke it I'm into the receiver. Around. Right there on the wall. Nice shock, 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. I did! Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Nice shock, 115. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted oh, over there. God, why yeah. did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When Stanley came to a set of two other doors, he entered the door on his left. What the fuck is going on? 
Stanley! Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. Uh, I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Please. Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you, you understand kidding me? me? Is well, this seriously the end? Fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Good are you job. there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Uh, what happened? Was that literally the end of the game? It is! Oh my god! Oh jeez, I didn't expect that. That was good. I'd say enjoyed that. Alright, so that was the do everything wrong thing. Because I apparently broke the game. Um, I really don't know any more other ways of breaking the game. Yet. But I think the stairs, what the stairs was, there was a way of going down. So, I will come back again at some point and go downstairs. If there was downstairs, I'm pretty sure there was. Or pick up the phone and do it that way. So, it looks like there's two more ways of, that I know of doing it. If you guys know more, let me know in the comments down below of which other ways I'm missing. Ugh, Jesus Christ. But anyway, guys, i see you guys in the next video of the Standing Parable or whatever I upload again. I don't know if I can know. Alright, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, agents.